welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just don't like that. Welcome. <laughs> Kids of all ages. Um, hey, I'm Flynn Johnson. Morrow C. And this is Gobsmack, baby. Oh, baby. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. The show where we talk about growing up and everything in between. Everything in between. The sheets, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, cool. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, this is the podcast we talk about everything in between, <laughs> everything growing up and everything in between. Make sure you share, <laughs> like, subscribe, all of that good stuff, the usual shite, wherever you're listening to us from. And make sure to tell a nanny, tell a friend, Oof. I tell your mother, Boo-boo. I tell a man, Brrr. I book a boo <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm back. A review. <laughs> we here. I'm back, baby. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> I'm back, baby. Turn the volume up in the headphones. We about to do it. <laughs> Where were ya? <laughs> I'm back. Where from? <laughs> Bad breaking. Oh, Bad breaking. Great. Bad break. <laughs> On your holidays. Jesus. Wouldn't be able. Jesus. <laughs> oh, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Look, I don't the smell of my feet. I thought it was the cat. El Dory's, um... Authorities out on the road now, you know, playing with the kids on the on on our road. She never usually yeah, goes yeah. out because she's real shy. Like you know what she's like. She's a bit shy. Like so, she usually goes yeah, around yeah. to to the nanny's house. You know what I mean? And she plays out with the twins and all the kids around there. But she's starting to play out with the kids on our road now. That little shite, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> that little shite. <laughs> Did he be knickknacking? But they do it on our house <laughs> as if we're not gonna know it's them. <laughs> <It's> idiots. <laughs> She was out there, right? And I was watching. I was looking at her, and I was like, "Look!" I was saying, "Danielle, look at these little shites, right? I'm gonna get them. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking straight them out, little cunts." So I just see them. They're running across the road. They're hiding behind a. Uh, there's like a, you know, a couple of these like little green pop boxes, uh, the small ones, yeah, you know, yeah. on the green. So they're hiding yeah. behind them, and I see, I see Dory just looking out. Hmm? Go and do it. So the little young fella comes running across the road. Taps on the door, and I mean the like faintest little tap, and it goes running away laughing, you know, thinking he's get, he's fucking yeah. gas. <laughs> and I just see them all sniggering behind the fucking uh, green box, you know, <laughs> the hand over them out, you know, <laughs> <laughs> idiots, they'll never know it's us, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I didn't even open the door. He must have did it about ten times. I didn't open the door once. <laughs> I was gonna wait till I was gonna wait till Dory did it. She was too scared to do it. I was gonna wait till she did it. I was gonna swing the door up and go, "What do you think you're doing? You're grounded for life." Were you talking to boys? You got grounded. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Smoking yeah, matches. Yeah, She's yeah. like gasping. But you say it to her, you're like, were you yeah. knickknacking on doors? She's like, no, it wasn't me. It was me friends. <laughs> I says, don't you let them tell you what to do. <laughs> I can't stop them. They're just trying to live their life. <laughs> That's the <laughs> show she comes out with, you know. She's fucking yeah, mad. Yeah. She is. She's mad. Yeah. Gas, bro. Speaking of kids, that's like though, real number one. Speaking of you kids, just, speaking of kids, congratulations. <laughs> okay, okay. Congratulations on the Appreciate big news. You, bro. For people that don't Appreciate know, you. Mr. Flynn the Windy yeah. and his I'm going beautiful to be a fiance father. Danielle are having a little uh, a little bed sheet. A little pillowcase, yeah. I should say. A little, a little pillowcase. <laughs> having a little the pillowcase. The pillowcase. <laughs> Flynn the Windy. The, the bed sheet and the pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, man, congratulations, yeah, yeah, congratulations. Was... How's uh, how's mother doing? She's good, man. She's good. She's good. She gets sick uh, in the evening sometimes, but she's good, man. I got I got her back. Deadly. I got her back. Deadly. You know what I mean? It's uh, yeah, no, man. It's 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 good. Uh, the news obviously was was sent out to the world there on the weekend. And um, yeah, it's just been nothing but love from everybody, bro, and just coming in abundance. So yeah, man, I'm just I'm delighted, I'm delighted, and I appreciate anyone that's reached out, anyone who doesn't know, I'm going to be a father. He's going to be a big daddy. <laughs> I'm it's going got, to be a big daddy. It's got to be an absolute dad, this fella. An absolute <laughs> dad, this this feller. <laughs> it's going to be an absolute dad, this feller. This feller. <laughs> this feller. <laughs> this feller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Big, big stuff, but yeah, we're excited, we're happy, we're delighted, and she's doing okay. She's doing okay, we'll Deadly. get there, we'll get there. Deadly. Do you hope it's a girl or a boy? 
oh, I don't want to jinx on this, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'd say I'm I'm leaning towards a boy. Like, yeah, she thinks it's gonna be a boy as well. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see. There's a lot of people saying to me that it's gonna be a girl. Like, be be my man. That like. I mean, I think it's going to be a girl. <laughs> I hope you don't have a girl. She'll be always be biting me. <laughs> <laughs> like a bloody That's dog, yeah. biting yeah. me. Phoebe <laughs> Malcolm the other day, I was here, man, you will hold her. I can't hold her. Why? She bites me. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my man thinks it's going to be a girl. Her dad had a dream the other night. It's going to be a girl. And, yeah, a lot of people are saying it's going to be a girl. But I think it's going to be a boy, bro. I think it's gonna be a boy. Yeah. Either way, as long as it's happy and healthy, I don't give a shite. That's you know it. Once mean? it's happy and healthy, that's all that matters. Once mammy and baby are happy and healthy, that's all that matters. Exactly. Cause no, no one gives a fuck me. about you. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe it. Better believe it. You're just a you little sperm posted. donor. That's all you are, buddy. Just a sperm donor. You be getting kicked <laughs> out since <laughs> the baby's born. <laughs> Get him out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't need you anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it was gas because we put it up or whatever online and it was like uh, people just going, congratulations, Danielle. And I'm like, yo, what, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you know what takes mean? two to tango. <laughs> yeah, it takes two to tango. You know what I mean? <laughs> but now I swear to God, man, I was like, there's just like 80% of the comments were like, Specifying, they were saying congratulations yeah. to Joe Stanielle. Like, yeah. you know what I mean, I was like, cool, no worries, I'm cool with that. Like, you know, what I mean? <laughs> we've only been friends for 20 years, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it is all jokes aside, it is like as long as them two are happy and healthy, bro, I don't care, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't care what I wish. Nah, man, I'm delighted for you, I'm delighted for you. You'll be a good dad, and Daniel, be a good man as well. So, you know, Thank you, all the years I've been knowing you. All the years I've been knowing you. All the years I've been knowing you. All the years I've been your sort of father. father. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, you'd be, you'd be great. You'd be great. You'd be great. You are, bro. I'll be, I'll be flying. You come I'm from a good. You come from a good family, from your man, dad. So you come from a good family. So you've picked up the good traits. You know what I mean? You're a good bloke, and you'll be a good dad, bro. Yeah, you will be a good that. dad. <laughs> you just fella trying to make me cry on the podcast. <laughs> will you stop? Will you? <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> No, I appreciate that, bro. All jokes aside, all, all jokes aside. I've had people around me, man, that, like, obviously, as you said, like, my man and dad, and then, then obviously having you as well and seeing how, how you have dealt with it and stuff like that. It's, yeah, man, I, 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 think, I think I'll be okay. You know what I mean? Ah, you'll <laughs> be fine. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But, yeah, um, excited, man. Excited. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah. Has everybody the been like, uh, to be right. oh, to be the love of your life. Kids are great. They'll change your life. <laughs> and none of that, that. yeah. <laughs> yeah none, of, none of that, yeah. But I want to say this, right? The mango fella got on to me. He sent me a little voice message, right? When yeah. he's seen the news or whatever. And he's like, oh, I want to congratulate you. And then, yeah, it was a really sweet message. like. But at the end of it, he was like, hey, I listen. He was like, how's my man dropping a baby before an album? <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I want new music and offspring this year, bro. Yeah, that's what he said. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. I said, Listen, bro, it's coming. Both are coming. Shout yeah, out the Addy Dazzler, man. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Hit me up for the little sneaky no. links, yeah? Hit me up for the little sneaky links. <laughs> yeah, that's no, but it was, it, was a really, it was a really sweet message, and everybody's been really sweet, bro. A lot of people have gotten on, they've been really sweet, like, and people I haven't talked to in. Like you said, I haven't talked to you in 20 years. You know what I mean? People like that, like, I haven't talked to since school, like, reaching yeah. out and stuff. It's just, it's been lovely, like. It's been lovely. All the cunts that don't have kids them. themselves. <laughs> they don't know how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know the hardship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These little mini terrorists in the gaff. <laughs> little hoodlums. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, there's none of that stuff. It's it, what people have been saying to me. Like, me dad, me dad's obviously, me and me dad have been obviously getting into the, into the depths of it, talking about it, you know what I mean? And uh, he just said to me that, like, he was, like, as soon as I came along the morning I was born or whatever, he said he just, like, matured overnight type of thing. Like, he said he just grew up overnight. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And he had this, like, had this responsibility now where it wasn't just about him anymore because, obviously, your whole life, you go your whole life thinking that this, like, look out for number one type of thing. And then, obviously, when you get your, your missus or your wife or whatever it is, it's the two yous and nothing else matters. It's two yous against the world. And then this thing comes along that both the years have created like and it's like oh shit like you know what i'm saying it's like i 
oh, he have to stop doing mm. whatever it is I'm doing now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that type of thing. Like, because now I have to, I have to almost make the path. I need to dig up the path and lay the concrete for this little person in my life now. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the way Dave been, like me and my dad have been talking about. There's a lot more to it. Like, and I've seen this quote where it's like, they say like, it's like, and this is like a real cheesy quote, but I was like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Like, it's I'm going to print that for the baby's so wall. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, uh, your child, because I never heard it put this way, bro. He said, having a child is like having heart surgery where your heart is like walking around. You know what I'm saying? You get your heart taken out and it's like walking around in front of you. You know yeah. what I mean? That's, and I think that's, I think that's really like kill, cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, it must have been written by someone that doesn't have kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it ain't like that, bro. It ain't like that. <laughs> I told this fella, and he was maybe like, for the first two so... days, first two days. <laughs> then after that, that heart goes bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a piece of coal walking around. <laughs> it's just a little kick in the ball. That's what it is. A little kick in the teeth. Just a little foot ro- ro- walking around. Every time you're thinking, oh yeah, this is great. Buff into the jaw. <laughs> Don't you forget, I'm here, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think I think like I think people do kind of over. It's it's hard to say, isn't it? Because I think people like over sort of do it when they're like, "Oh my god, it's the best thing in the world." You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I I'd imagine people overdo it a little bit. Now, some people might feel like that as well. Like, do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think I think a lot of people might overdo it sometimes. Where they're yeah. like, "Oh my god, I'd have a million! I'd have a million of them!" You know? What I mean? uh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> now they are like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change the two of them for the world. Just they have that uh, moments. Of course, <laughs> yeah, they yeah, have that yeah, moments, yeah. but they have that good moment. They have more good moments than they do bad. In fairness, so yeah. far anyway no, for that's us. What I mean. yeah. But we've You've we've been very lucky because we have two good kids. Like Dory's a really good yeah, kid. Man. Do you know what I mean? And Barley's a little shy yeah. at the minute, but. He's grand. Like when he's good, he's good. Do you know what I mean? But when he's bad, yeah, yeah. he's bad. <laughs> he's fucking bad. <laughs> the two of them oh, take after me. Kids, the two of them take after me. You know two little moody fuckers <laughs> and cheeky bastards. You've got two well. good kids, bro. Huh? Yeah. No, you've got two good kids, bro. It's it's like you like you like to always be like this glass is half empty. You know, <laughs> you like to always put it that way. Like I'm always. I this know glass what you like, bro. Is completely fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go jump off a cliff. That's what I'm like. Constant rain this cloud class. following me around. <laughs> I don't mind the rain. That's just mine. <laughs> Why is Dad always dressed this in black? Class. Ah, he's just going through some. <laughs> he's, he's going, going through, through things. <laughs> That's me. This glass is smashed to bits. <laughs> that glass will cut your fucking hand. Don't touch it. <laughs> Where Danielle's the opposite, you know. She's the positive one. I'm the fucking yeah. Debbie Downer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we have God. me and Danielle kind of me and Danielle kind of I don't know we kind of like throw the glass at each other sometimes <laughs> in the full <laughs> glass like we all like, do. Hey, look at this full glass. You take it now. You know what I'm saying? And we have <laughs> Wait our till the kids like, come. Who wants this glass? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> don't come near me with that glass. <laughs> this glass is dribbling. It's dribbling. <laughs> I've had it over that poxy glass. <laughs> <laughs> just go to your gaff tomorrow and it's just cups in the cupboard it's just cups everywhere <laughs> yeah just cups everywhere steel cups everywhere <laughs> <laughs> fuck that glass <laughs> um but yeah no it's 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 a it's it's a really weird feeling because and i'd say you can you can kind of attest to this as well and it's like it's like because because it's not happening like because it's not happening in your body like it's kind of hard to like it's kind of hard for it to hit you like do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm in that phase now where I'm like, has it hit me or has it not? Or what what's going on? Like type of thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was never um it was never really real. Does that make sense? Even like with with Dory it was different because Barley Barley was born during the pandemic and he was mm. he was conceived during the pandemic. So it was I was never allowed at any scan. I, I was at no scans, never heard his heartbeat. Danielle recorded some of it for me so I could hear it and that and recorded some of the video for me, which was great. But I had to just wait outside the hospital. I wasn't allowed in. I, I, the only time I was allowed in was when she actually went into labour. Like, it was horrible. It was horrible for her, do you know it's what I mean? Because it's, not, it's yeah. not easy go, go, going to those scans on your own. Do you know what I mean? For anybody, like, it's scary because what if something happens to the child or whatever, you know what I mean? Exactly. But yeah, um, yeah. Like, with Dory, it was very different because I was there for everything. 
I didn't miss a day. Do you know mm. what I mean? I was there for everything, which was great. <clears throat> but it is like it doesn't yeah. it doesn't feel real until the baby arrives. And when the baby arrives, you're like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, who, what the hell is this? What is God, it, 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 what, what, what? This is real? You know, yeah. When the baby arrives, you're just yeah. like, oh my God, what the fuck do I do with this? Because there's none of yeah, this, like, yeah. there's none of this bollocks where it's like the midwife will take the baby and like, hey, I'll dress the kid now and you go and, you know, smell flowers <laughs> and go get something to eat and just chill out for a couple of days. There's none of that. As soon as the baby's born, Wrapped up in a towel. Here you are, Dad. Crack on. I'm like, what? What? What the fuck? You know? Yeah, there's no, like, there's no weaning in period. It's you just got to get fucking straight in. Like, there's no, there's no kissing. Do you know what I mean? There's no kissing. It's, here's your brand new baby. Good luck. You know what I mean? Good luck. (laughs) Scary, man. It's scary. Super scary. That's what I mean. It's, it's it's scary it's like as you said like i can't imagine going through that bro like through the pandemic you know what i mean um and not being able to be there where because fuck fuck the fomo fomo thing for a second like fuck the whole fear of missing out shit like i'm talking for them bro have you ever went to the hospital on your own <clears throat> not even a scan like yeah ever been to the hospital on your own bro that shit regardless of what it is that shit is scary bro yeah That's scary it's not nice you know what I mean? and and for them, especially with something that they have to give great care to, like, you know what I mean? They have to abide by a certain fucking regime in order to make sure that this is this is going to be okay type of thing. Um, yeah, man, I can only imagine how scary it is. Because like, I'm, I'm sure there's the fear of that. Like, there's obviously, and the same with, with the blokes as well, is that I'll be very fearful. Like, I'm one of them, bro, that I'll be like, ah, you'd be grand. But ever since I found out the news, I'm kind of like, she she just be saying it to me. She's like, I don't have two legs chopped off. I can still do stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm like practically like just I practically just like have my arms wrapped around her constantly. Like you know what I mean? I just walking down the yeah. road and she's like, Will you fuck off? Like you know? What I mean? know you can't That's do that. Me, you like, can't do that. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> no, I know. Yeah, and now I'm just I'm just very fearful of anything. God forbid. Obviously, you know what I mean. Anything was to be wrong or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's just me. I just I think I'm just I'm a bit. Now I never thought it would have been, but then after we found out the news, I like turned into a new person that's like mad overprotective and shit. I'm like you can't be doing that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you want me to come in and do you want me to come in and bathe you? Yeah, What's right, in that tea? You know? What's in that tea? Are you allowed to drink tea? <laughs> you know? Is that one yeah, or two sugars? You. Is that one or two sugars? You know what I mean? That's what I'm like, bro. When you have the God, boy, when yeah. you have the second one, it's like pff, whatever. Do you want a vodka? <laughs> yeah. Do you want a vodka? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to try and get a smoke there? I can only imagine what it's like for like, for like the Ricky fella that has bleeding trade him. You know what I mean? Oh, stop <laughs> it. I don't yeah. know how he had trade yeah. him. Mad thing. Mad thing. <laughs> Fuck me. Would you not have any more? What's that? Would you not have any more? Me? No. Stupid question. No, yeah. I'd never have another kid again. <laughs> but Danielle's the same. That That isn't like just like, no. Like, look, yeah, we yeah. Have, we're, we're very blessed that's the only word i can use we're blessed like we do have two really good kids but another one no way man no way financially yeah Yeah. as well no way couldn't afford and we couldn't afford to have another child do you know what i mean it's crazy over here man it's crazy over here but we couldn't we couldn't we couldn't no (laughs) absolutely fucking not (laughs) absolutely fucking not absolutely not because that's the same thing and she's the same that's not just me being like a prick which i am but like she's the same she'd be like no i'm never having another one again you know, we're done yeah, now. Like yeah. we have we have we have two of them. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. We have one of each. We have yeah. one of each. One of each. Grant. <laughs> we have a dog, we have a tortoise. Grant. Yeah. We're sorry. Yeah, yeah, There's a couple yeah. of spiders crawling around the gaff. Brand new. Grand. We have everything. You have a flin. <laughs> you have a flin as well. Don't forget that, bro. Um because as you said, she only used me. She's only using me to have this baby, and as soon as the baby comes along, I'll be knocking at the door. Please help me. I've nowhere to live. <laughs> That's it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, happens to yeah, us no, all. my man and I were the same. My man and I were the same, bro. See, they they said that they just had, they wanted to have two, and that was it. And they got one of each as well. You know what I mean? They got me and my sister Shanine, like, yeah. um, and they were happy out. Do you know what I mean? But Danielle's man, and I, now this is crazy. Yeah, Danielle was seventeen, and she had a little brother that was like two years younger than her. Yeah, two of each, same thing, same situation. Me and my sister, yeah, two and a half years between them or something. And uh, Danielle comes home from school one day, 
And I'm was like, we're having another baby. And she was like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Imagine. 17, between her and our, li- our smallest brother, bro, there's 17 years between them or something like that. 16 or 17 years. Oh, that's a big gap. Between them. That's a big gap. Yeah, heavy. Heavy. So he's like, Craig is, I think, 10 or 11 now. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's uh, that's my imagine that that's yeah. mad. Like that's crazy. Seventeen years. That's crazy. <laughs> well, with that. Dean, then it would have been what fifteen years, fifteen years, bro. After fifteen years, are you messing? You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Throw myself through a bleeding window. <laughs> imagine, imagine that fifteen. Dory, Dory's bleeding seventeen, and Barley's fifteen, and you're going. Then I was like, we're having another baby. The fuck Do you know what's mad, right? Do you know what's mad? I'd be thinking, like, because Dory's five, yeah? So I'd be thinking, Jesus. Yeah. I'll be 70 when she's my age. 70, eh? Yeah? yeah. Is it 70? Am I getting that wrong? Show you, Matt. Six. No, you'll just show you I remember in your age, bro. No, she's five. I'm 30. Am I 25 or 26? I can never remember. <laughs> I'm 25, I'm like... I go out to this, <laughs> go out to this fella I'm last terrible. week and he's I'm like, terrible. I'm 25, bro. <laughs> and then the next week, it's like, I'm 27, bro. I'm like, what? What is it? Like, <laughs> I don't know how old I am. <laughs> what am I, 25? <laughs> yeah, I'm 25. Let's, let's so go with she be? You look 30. So I'll be 65 when she's my age, will I? Bro, I'm 60, terrible at match, bro. No, 70. 70, because she's five. Yeah, 70, yeah. Imagine. <sighs> Fuck me. Big, Imagine, bro. Big Rocky. <laughs> When she's 10, I'm 40. What the fuck? I still think I'm 15. <laughs> <laughs> Big Rocky lounging. Now, my body, me body me body's like a 60-year-old's now. Big old bones, yeah, O'Connor. Old soul, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big brittle bones. Me. Anytime I stand up, be fucking back snaps. <laughs> I was walking down the... Did I tell you I was walking downstairs the other day? Walking downstairs the other day, I sneezed. Yeah? I was on the bottom two steps and, and I sneezed and me back nearly went. <laughs> Bruh, me back nearly went. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> had to go and lie down. Had to go and, had to go and lie down on the couch for a minute. <laughs> Didn't know what I'm happened. Like, oh my god! A ghost just punched me in the back. Oh my god! Had to go and lie down. <laughs> Start blaming Dory and all. Did you hit me? Were you knack knacking on me back? <laughs> Satan, is that you again? Me back. I swear to God, bro. I sneezed and me back nearly went. Like, had you? <laughs> <laughs> Cut me half sneeze. Had to go and lie down for a minute. And me back was fucking normal. Yeah. Bro, that happens at my age, bro. It happens. It happens. Are you nick knacking on my back, Dory? Oh, I'm stop. 10, yeah. That's what it's like, bro, these days. I'm bro, I'm, at not, my age. I'm, I'm 26, yeah, and I'm not even joking. When I stand up, I do the grunt now, like, you know what I mean? So I'm like, mm. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, fucking I'm 26, bro. You know what I mean? I do the grunt. I'm, all right, and I'm one of them. I'm one of them people now. I can only imagine what I'm going to be like as an elfler, bro. But At least I have an excuse because like... I'm a big fucking gorilla. You know what I mean? Big chest. I'm a big gorilla. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So when I stand yeah. up, it's hard for me to get up on yeah. the legs. Nah, I'm joking. Nah, no, I'm, sometimes I'm when I stand up, man, the knees and all, God, my knees to be fucking wiggling yeah. away. Yeah. My kneecap just yeah. evaporates <laughs> into dust. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, brother. That's what I'm saying. I can imagine what I'm going to be like as an elfler because I'm one of them that, like, now. I have to motivate myself to stand up. I'm one of them that claps, <laughs> claps before he stands up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, that's it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, sometimes I stand up and I start wigging. I'm like, oh, am I going? Am I going backwards? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, false alarm. I'm grand, I'm grand. And I get back. I'm like a fucking rocking chair and I stand up. <laughs> Dory's looking at me going, ah, dad's at it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's like, oh, oh. She's like, oh, Timber. <laughs> No, Fox Lamb Grant. That's what it's like. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I, I get the head rushes, bro. That's what I, that's what's happened to me a lot lately. Stand up too quick type of thing. Whoa, you know, yeah. what I mean? oh, <laughs> you yeah. feel like I'm gonna hit the deck. Damn, I haven't had one of them in a while. Actually, must be the old age. Yeah, yeah. No blood up there. <laughs> must be the old. You know what I have for the first time off subject, right? You know what I have for the first time, and you, you probably wouldn't know about this, but I was off the smokes there for about four days, right? That's how long it lasted, yeah. Yeah. I was off the smokes for four days there. And I had my first smoke yesterday, right? And, <laughs> like, for that, I'm not even messing yet. There's this, I don't know if you've ever heard it. Sure you have, in Nico Buzz, yeah? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. 
But I, was, I, got, I got my first nickel ball since I was in bleeding school. I was like, what's going on? I was having a stroke. I was like, what's going on here? I was freaking out, bro. My legs were literally j- jittering underneath me. Like, and I was, had this nickel ball. My face was normal. I was like, what the fuck? The thing lasts about 30 seconds, and it just goes. And I'm like, Whew, it was on I didn't know what it was for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Flynn's on the ketamine again. <laughs> I got told I'm having a baby and it's like oh, he's hit the oh, K hole doing... <laughs> <laughs> but I swear to god bro I had my first nickel buzz anyway yeah standing up's a task these days brother so I feel you trust me yeah trust man trust me it's not just <laughs> the girls that get the bad backs carrying babies yeah, yeah. you know what I mean yeah. or the pregnant bellies yeah, no, I feel like... <laughs> the pregnant when you're a dad you get the dad bod and you get the bad back <laughs> but that comes after the nine months <laughs> yeah 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 so until the yeah. nine months now, are over, some... you feel great. Fit as a fiddle. As soon as the baby arrives, yeah. oh my God, you just curl into a ball. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, back's gone. Yeah, just a big, big belly appears. Just a big pile of... <laughs> big man baps. Just a big pile of fat and flesh and you're just... <laughs> <laughs> in the corner, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cut out for this. Put them back in. They're not yeah. done yet. <laughs> So one of my mates used to call it producer belly, bro. They used to call dad bods produ- producer belly. Producer belly. <laughs> That's what he used to call it. <laughs> Absolutely. Come here, uh, have you that's thought of any names around yet, or is that pure secret? Uh, yeah, no, that's 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 uh, top sealed, secret. Sign sealed, delivered. Yeah. Do yeah. you have like a definite boy's name and a definite girl's name, or is it like you just have a couple of names you just like, and you'll see when the baby Isn't comes, what will it look like? Will it look like a little yeah. Rodney or a little uh, <laughs> Jeremiah? <laughs> A little Courtney, a little Courtney in there. It's, it's going to be a little steel. That's what his name is going to be, Steel Flynn. He looks like, do you know what he looks like? A little steel. He looks like a steel. I think he looks like a Dave. No, he looks like a steel. <laughs> steel. Imagine him with his hair spiked. See, but he's a steel. But um, no, uh, we have we have two for a girl and one for a boy right now. Oh, um, baby. Yeah, type secret, top secret. Well, I'll tell you, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I probably won't, to be honest. <laughs> you, bro, you could tell me, yeah, and you know yeah. what I'm like. When the baby you arrives, I'll be like, what's the baby's name? And you'll tell me, ah, <laughs> oh, it's Courtney. I'll be like, Courtney, that's a lovely name. Never heard that before. <laughs> You'd be like, uh, I told you about four months ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I probably will tell you, I'm very honest, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of... We're being the whole Jay Z and Beyonce about it, like you know what I mean. I ain't telling you shit. You know what I mean. Look at my new baby. Oh, yeah. Her name is Purple. <clears throat> Her name is Purple. Her name is Lavender. <laughs> it's my new child, Yellow. <laughs> yellow, because it's calming. Because it's, it's calming. Exactly. It's my new child, this Sunset. Child has calmed me. Sunset. <laughs> Come in, Sunset. sunset. Stop sunset. knicknacking. You'll, you, you'll all of a sudden just become like fucking some middle class going, sunset come in stop knickknacking <laughs> stop knickknacking it's a Fetch bore daddy his tea it's a bore <laughs> it's a bore <laughs> you bore me please leave please leave do you know what uh, um, do you know what always scared me tell us do you know what always oh, scared no. me here we go Rocky's gonna have me up for two weeks straight <laughs> No, what always scared me was not being a good dad. You know what I mean? I still beat myself up, 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 up about it all the time. Like Danielle, tell you, like I'm always, I'm always at it. That was one of my biggest fears because I'm a selfish cunt. I know I am. Like, I, you know, I'll just admit it. Like I'm a selfish cunt. Like I just think about myself all the time, and I always thought, fuck, Brother. I'm gonna end up yeah. ruining this child. Do you know what I mean? I'm a dumb fuck. Oh. Like I'm gonna end up fucking ruining this child. But you know, Danielle tells me, look, you've done it. You've done an all right job so far, buddy. Listen, <laughs> but that was the big me, fear bro. for me. That was the big fear, especially yeah. having a girl was was the fear for me. I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna end up having a girl, and oh, I'm gonna end up bleeding, ruining her. I'm gonna yeah. be a fucking arsehole. Like, I'm just not gonna be a good dad because I didn't have a dad growing yeah. up. You know, w- mm. when I was growing up, I always latched on to to older blokes as like a dad figure. You know what I mean? Mm. So mm. I seen a dad yeah, yeah. figure, and everybody like the biggest one for me was Gav. Shout out to Gav. Yeah. Gav was Gav. the big dad for me. Gorgeous you know Gav. I mean? Yeah, he's a big brother. Like, but to me, growing <laughs> up, I just, I just idolized him. Do you know what I mean? So much. Yeah, and that's yeah. where I learned like Photoshop and all that stuff and all like the creative skills that I have. When I went to the computer club and he was, he was the guy there. It was like he just let mm. me have free reign and 
always gave me good, 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 good advice. Kind of kept me on the straight and narrow a little bit. Kept me from going crazy. And look, mm. man, he's been in me life since I was fucking. I don't know, since I was twelve or thirteen. Do you know what I mean? Still, like to mm. this day, yeah, like yeah. he's family for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, uh, yeah. he uh, stood in for me, old lad, when I got married, because I didn't know Mick yeah. at the time. You know, and I just learned a lot from him. Do you know what I mean? And I, I think yeah. that's where I kind of picked up the kind of right. I got to be smart about this. I got to, you know, this is the way I got to be mm. or whatever. Like, do you know what I mean? Let 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 the kids be creative and let them kind of make their own decisions and shit like that, you know. But Danielle's the same. Mm-hmm. Like that, Danielle's. I know it's cliche to say, man, but she is like she's a fucking unbelievable mother. Like I, just, I swear to God, mm-hmm. if we didn't have her in this house, man. We be we be all killing yeah. each other. Like we'd be fucked. She's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Now she'll yeah. pure cringe hearing me saying that. Do you know what I mean? Because she doesn't yeah. take compliments, but she is, man. She's yeah. un fucking believable with the two kids. Yeah, uh, I'm so sure. fucking blessed, man. The trios are absolutely blessed to have her in our lives. Like she's cool as fuck. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, the big fear for me, man, was just like, how the fuck am I gonna be a dad? Look at the state mm. of me. I can't even look after me mm. bleeding self. Do you know what I mean? Like, that was the big both, fear man. for me. That was the big fear for me. But you yeah. know, sat down with Danny. She was just kind of like, look, man, you'll be fine, you know, just be yourself and just remember you grew up without a dad. So, you know, think about the things that you missed out on and, you know, try mm-hmm. put that on them. Mm-hmm. And we have like, just we've, we've that, always yeah. kind of, we've done a good job with Dory in fairness, you know, I, well, well, I, well, I think we have more, 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 more Danielle than me, to be honest. But, uh, Bro, that, that you know, child is the coolest kid in the world. Like, ah, she, she is, man. The she's the smartest fuck. Like, like she's such, such a such a smart child as well. Like, we read to her every night. She gets two books every night. She's starting to get the grown up books yeah. now. And we just, yeah. you know, we just try to let her man be quick, fucking quick creative start. and cool. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. She's she's cool as fuck. Yeah. And we'll do the same with Barley as well. Like, do you know what I mean? No, for sure, bro, for sure. I can see that. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, and I'll tell you that you're mad for thinking that. Like, that you would ever be, you could ever be inadequate as a, as a father. Because I see the way. Never mind seeing the way you are with the kids. Yeah, I see when I'm in the gaff. I see how the kids are with you, and that's that's a big reflection on. I think the job that you've done as a father. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think. It's not. It's not how you are with them. It's how they are with you. Like I'm not seeing Dory. Dory, not. Dory hates me. <laughs> <laughs> to us, man. You're, you're, you're our best mate. <laughs> <laughs> you're our best mate, bro. I've often been in that gaff, and she'd come home from school or wherever she she is, like, and the first thing she would say when she walked through the door, she'd be like, "Where's that?" You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, he's upstairs with Ev. Is music teacher? Yeah, for anyone that doesn't know. I know. Yeah, for anyone that doesn't know. She thinks you're a music teacher. Does <laughs> she still think that? Like, yeah, our she Uncle Evan. She could, our Uncle Evan is the music yeah. teacher. I'm the music teacher. Yeah, our Uncle Ev, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, man. I, I've seen how she is. She comes running up to you and she's like, hi, what's up? She gets a bit of a fright when I'm there and she's like, oh, I didn't know yeah. I was here today. Ah, she's just shy. You know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, no, it's I've seen how they are with you, bro, and yeah, they love you. And the same with Danny. Danny's and I, I, I can second it and say like, and she's probably gonna cringe listen to me say this as well. But I could say she's an unbelievable mother, man. You've done a fucking unbelievable job, an amazing job, like you know what I mean. I appreciate that, bro. Now you're gonna start making me cry. Oh my god, I'm such <laughs> a good parent. I'll, 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 I'll go as far as saying this, and I always, I, I'll always, I said this to me dad only recently, is that. I, if I'm half half the father that he or you is, bro, I'll be doing an unbelievable job. Like you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, you've nothing to worry about. You've I appreciate about. that, man. Appreciate that. Shout unreal. out to all the all the mams and all the dads doing it. All the mams and the dads doing it. All my the mams and daddies some, doing it. My dad's been dropping some gems on me, bro. Say gems so. Me. Like you have. Say like so. you have as well. You know what I mean? Me and you've gotten in in depth with it, and I can only imagine we will again. Like, but. Um, I won't air out you on the pod, Rocky. You know what I mean? I won't air you out. All, like. all the but tricks. Dad, man, if now, listen. If dad. he's acting up, you open the front door <laughs> and just let them run. <laughs> run just away. Just kick them out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my dad, man, my dad's, been, my dad's been through the mill with me growing up. Like, you know what I mean? I was the runt, bro. You know what I'm saying? My sister was the one. Oh, you've you've passed every test that you ever done. Never got the a detention in your life. Your school books are clean. You know what I mean? World one champion them, like, boxer. 
whereas I'm out the back born in my books. Do you know what I mean? Fuck school. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like that's that was me, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So I've I've now that when I get older, like I have I have all the respect in the world for that man, like because I put him through the mill, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Through the mill. I was a bastard. I hate that word, but I was a bastard, bro. Yeah, I mean that. I was I just, he's just, he felt like, like, he felt like, I can imagine he felt like he just wasn't getting true to me. It wasn't even the job that him and my man were doing, bro. It was just, I don't know, it was just me thinking I could do whatever the fuck I wanted when sometimes I get a reality, reality, reality check and I'd be like, no, you can't do what you want type of thing. Like, but I see all the things that he's implemented into me growing up, bro. And I carry that stuff with me every day of my life now. Like, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's only when you get older, because when you're a teenager, bro, you know you're saying, I'm out with me mates, fuck you, just do what you want. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Them, like, but I, like, I took so much from, like, now when I'm older, I take so much from, like, I think back of th- back to things in my head and I'm like, that's why he did that. Like, do you know what I mean? And it's like, that's why he did that and that's why he did that and that type of thing. And, a lot of people would say from me growing up, bro, that I was a, a mammy's boy, like, do you know what I mean? I, yeah. like, which I was. Any sort of trouble around, I'd run straight for me, ma. Like, I'd head straight for me, ma. But it's, like, the gradual effect that me, my father has had on me, like, is unbelievable. Like, it's mad, bro. It, it still shocks me, like, still to this day, where <clears throat> I'd catch myself in a moment, like, and I'd be like, oh, shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's... That's I've seen that happen right in front of me eyes, like you know what I mean. That type yeah. of thing, and like I didn't appreciate it at the time because you can't. It's hard to get through to a kid, bro, when that doesn't want to listen, like. And I was that kid, like. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to listen. I, my man and dad knew nothing. I was out on the road. The people on the road knew what what story was. Like, you know what I mean? All the boys <laughs> knew what the story was. Like. Yeah. They had the world figured out. Do you know what I mean? But like both my man and dad, bro. My ma, my ma is ah, oh, my ma is the best, the best in the fucking world. Like you know, what I mean, I'm such a cliche fucking thing to say about your man. Oh, yeah. she, she is like both of them, both of them are like you know, what I mean, and it's and the stuff from you as well that I've seen that you've done, and obviously known, known you for for from when you didn't have kids to who you are now. Like do you know what I mean? And mm. it's it's seeing all that right in front of me, bro. And I'll, I'll take a lot of that with me throughout this whole experience as well like you know what i mean so yeah man you have a you have a big part to play and my man to have a big part to play in in me feeling i feeling like i'll be all right like do you know what i mean but to back to what you said and i know i went off on a tangent there but back to what you were saying it's number one on my list as well bro fears like i am shitting myself yeah because i'm so afraid that <clears throat> i won't be able to I, like i'm just so afraid that I'm not cut out for it, like, do you know what I mean? I don't think mm. anybody is, really, like, but no. I think you kind of figure it out on, along the way, like, but I'm so fearful of that, bro, so I can, I can, I can identify with that, like, 100%, like. Yeah, it was the I mean? big, it was, it was the big one for me, it was, feeling like, ah, yeah, I'm not cut out for this, you know? Then I was yeah, like, yeah. I was doubting myself, are we just having kids because it's the thing you're supposed to do, you're supposed to get married and have kids, you know what I mean? But, Danielle's not yeah, the type yeah. of person to to rush into something without thinking about it fully. Do you know what I mean? She has a good head on her shoulders yeah. where I am the person that'll just jump into something and not even think twice yeah, about yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. we knew, like, we planned the two of them. So, you know what I mean? They weren't, mm-hmm. like, they weren't fucking surprise babies or for lack, you know, what yeah, pe- yeah. other people, mistakes. They weren't fucking mistakes. Like, do you know what I mean? They were planned. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, this yeah. shit. Ah, you were a mistake. Thanks. Thanks yeah, for that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah There's a no, dagger no, through no, the heart. No. Thank you. But uh, yeah, no, nah, the two yeah, of them are planned. Well, no. And look, man, I'm, you know, I'm happy yeah. out. You know, I'm happy out with the two of them. As I said, we're very lucky to have the two kids we have, you know. And look, man, I always yeah. had, I always had good, good, good people around me. Like, you know, the li- likes, the likes of Ricky, you know, he has, he has three little ones and, you know, he's a good dad. Like he's, you know, he's a grafter. He goes out there and he does what he has to do to make sure they never want for nothing. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, you know yeah, he's yeah. always been he's always he's always been a good inspiration for that like as well. I've always I've always took a lot away from what Rick's done. Mm-hmm. Again, yeah. Gav was always a yeah, big man. inspiration to me. I always look to him. Mm. And uh, yeah, man, it's just fucking you know that's that's the type of people I had around me. They were good, strong men. Do you know what I mean? That kind of yeah, ah, right, yeah. yeah. I can yeah. take this and yeah. I can take that and I can mold these together that's, and kind of do my own thing with it. That's you know what me, I mean? bro. Yeah, that's the way. That's and, me, bro. And, me. and I look at that Dan. Uh, at Danielle's dad as well like uh, he's a fucking you know that man is 
is something else. You know what I mean? He's a he's a really special bloke. Mm-hmm. Like, so of course I yeah. take from all that, and like I've always said it to to Paddy Anna, and I says, look, man, if if I can be half the parent you used to, am and I've done a fucking fine job. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And Danielle's that and more. Like she's fucking. You look, she's she's off the Richter with it. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm still yeah. trying to catch up, but look, man, I'll get there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look, I won't get too deep in it, yeah. but you know, I'll get there. I'll no, get there. No, I know, bro. I know. Listen, listen, you're 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 gonna be modest about it, bro, and you're gonna say like, oh, I'll get there and I'll catch up, man. To me, in my eyes, watching you with the kids, like you, you two are doing a fucking unbelievable job, and the the kids themselves are just they're just they're unapologetically themselves like and that's what i love about about dory now obviously barley is still a, a bit young like or whatever and he'll get into his own like but what i love what i love about dory and i'm sure barley's going to be the exact same bro is that she's just unapologetically herself and that's that's obviously credit to to you and and to danielle do you know what i mean and that's that's all you can hope for bro do you yeah. know what i mean it's just having a, a kid that has a good head on the shoulders and just wants to try everything, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's no limits, like, you know what I mean? And that's that's what, that's the kind of picture that I'd want to paint for my child, like, is that there's no limits. You can do what the fuck you want, <laughs> you know what I mean? As long as you put yeah. your head to it, like, type of thing. So, yeah, man, it's getting pure deep and all, but listen, you just got practice. You just got practice with me before they came along, yeah? You knew <laughs> exactly. what the story was. You and Otis, <laughs> you and the Taurus. <laughs> you know <what> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, she is, man. She's really cool. She's really cool. She's a cool little person. Yeah. She is, and as you said, she man. is. She is her own little person. She is. Me and her are twins. Like we are the exact same person. <laughs> exact same. The only difference is she yeah. looks like Danielle, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I yeah, look like yeah, my dad. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, for anybody yeah, listening, yeah. actually, if if they're a little bit confused, look, I only, um, I only recently got in contact with my old lad, uh, Big Mick. Shout out, Big Mick. Um, big, big Mickey every time. Big Mickey, uh, I only know him <laughs> as you know. I I don't know him that long. What's it? Six years, seven years, or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. He's a cool bloke. You know, I've learned a lot from him so far. But growing up, I didn't have him there, and that's why I keep saying I looked at the likes of Danielle's dad, Gav, Rick. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, Gork yeah. as well. Like, cause Gork was the first one to have a child out of all of us, and he was super mm. cool with his. Uh, uh, with his little fella, you know what I mean? He was he was a super cool dad, like uh yeah. So, you know, I took a lot from them because that's who I grew up around, you know what I mean? Who had kids mm-hmm. and kinda uh kinda treated me like their own because Paddy treated me like his own child, you know what I mean? And so did Gav, like yeah. um yeah. and then obviously I grew up around Rick and Gork and they were big, big strong blokes, full of confidence. They were cool with their kids, you know what I mean? And it was a cool thing to see because in an area like we grew up, that was very strange. You know what it I mean? Wasn't a thing. You know that yeah, wasn't a yeah, thing yeah, really. Yeah, Same sure. as your dad. You know what I mean? Your dad's cool as fuck. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. so yeah, I don't want anyone to get confused by that. You know what I mean? I do know me dad now, yeah. but yeah. we don't know each other like that. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? We we're, we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. He knows yeah, my kids yeah. and all that shit, man. He's super cool and all that. But yeah. just to give people context in, th- in case they're thinking, well, why did yeah, he mention yeah. his own dad? We didn't grow yeah, up together, yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? But look, no, I know. It's but there. You didn't again, bro. You didn't even have to explain that to people. But I, I'm, I'm glad you have as well. Like, and you've kind of, you've just, you've just, I don't know. You've opened up and talked about it there as well because you didn't have to. Like, do you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, Mick is, Mick is a great bloke, man. I, I remember every time I've met him, it's just been nothing but fucking laughs and bleeding. I'll never, you know what I mean? I'll <laughs> never forget uh, when we had Dory. Yeah, um, when we had Dory, the morning. She, no, she was born during the night. So she was born during the night, and I texted Elaine, that's me old lad's wife. Uh, I text Mick and Elaine, says, look, man, you know, oh, uh, oh, no, sorry, I didn't text him. I rang them. I rang them. I rang Anne and Paddy first, and then I rang Mick, Mick, Mick and Elaine, and I told them the news. They were fucking super delighted and all that stuff, right? Now, this is like, look, me and numbers don't mix. So this was like 10 o'clock at night or 9 or 10 o'clock at night or something like that, 8, 9 or 10. It was something like that, right? Yeah, it was late yeah, anyway. It was yeah, late in the evening. Yeah. Um. I was there that night, went home to get uh, a couple of hours kip, which I didn't really do because I was fucking nervous, like panicking. Oh my God, yeah. there's a child in the mix. You know. <laughs> went back to Danielle the next morning and we're sat there. She was having her breakfast, I think. I had Dory or she, she was asleep or something like that. Next of all, who walks through the doors? Mick and Elaine. Do you know what I mean? From England now. <laughs> yeah. 
sorry, I should have explained that. They live in Manchester. Yeah, they live from in the UK. England, yeah. So they arrived that morning from Jesus, England. Jesus, bro. Bellow through the door. Do you know what I mean? Jesus and, Christ. And they didn't know that, like, this wasn't, like, we didn't know that Dory was coming that, that day. Do you know what I mean? Because Danielle was in yeah, hospital for yeah, a couple yeah. of weeks before we had Dory, as it you wasn't know. Like and, you know, a scheduled thing. We were in there, yeah, we were in there yeah, for yeah. a couple of weeks because there was things going on or whatever. Everything was cool. Like, there was nothing wrong. But, um, okay. This wasn't planned. This wasn't like, yeah, we're having Dory on, on Thursday. Do you know what I mean? This yeah, just yeah, happened. Yeah, no, like, no, this yeah. just happened. Mm-hmm. And then she was born. Yeah. And the next morning, two of them walked through the hospital. And I'll never, ever, <laughs> ever forget that. No matter what, that's what sticks out to me. Do you know what I mean? They didn't have to yeah, do that. Like, there was no... There was no ex- expectation for them to do that. There was no like, yo, you better be here. Or none of, there was none of that shit. They yeah, just yeah, did yeah. it because they wanted to be there for us and they wanted to be there for Dory, like, do you know what I mean? And for Danielle, like, because they treat Danielle like one of our own. It's just, mm. It was just incredible, like, do you know what I mean? So that, to me, to... speaks more than anything else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, else, man. Like, yeah, 100%. I don't want presents or cards or any of that shit. Just fucking be there, like, do you yeah. know what I mean? Just be there, just be you there. know. Yeah, it's cool, like, yeah. just show up. And that's what they did. That's, like, that's unbelievable, bro. That's unbelievable. So I'll never like, forget credit, that, you Credit know? to them, of course. Yeah, of course, man. That's the type of stuff that sticks with you, like, you know what I mean? Like, when we told, we told me granddad, <clears throat> we were supposed to tell him on his birthday, because his birthday was only last month or whatever. Yeah. And we, me dad, me and me dad were going to make it this thing where we were going to go down to the house and tell him on his birthday and all, but yeah. I don't know what happened. We couldn't get through to him. Couldn't get through to him or whatever, yeah. And we got down to my nanny's then, I'd say about a week later. And we walked in and my dad was there. Because I didn't want to do it without my dad. Like, my dad kept saying, ah, you go on and you do it. And I was like, no. I was like, I want I want you there as well. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah. I don't want to just do it on my own. Like, And uh, <clears throat> we ran that, peels himself out of the scratcher, right? Yeah. Comes down, to, comes down the stairs. And he's sitting across from me. And he's sitting across me. Now, my granddad, bro, just, just a bit of context. My granddad is not one to show affection whatsoever i think i've seen this man <laughs> hug me nanny in my whole life i think i've seen him hug me nanny once like you know what i mean he's just not an affectionate bloke like it's just pure old school you know what i mean and he was sitting there or whatever and my dad turns around and says yeah listen we have something to tell you and he like pointed at me like and i looked at him and i was like uh, i was gonna tell you this on your birthday but you wouldn't answer the phone or whatever i was like uh, but we have a baby on the way like me and danielle yeah. and this fella broke down brother when i say broke down this fella was inconsolable he's like are you are you, ser- are you serious you know what i mean ah, and he like, ran over ran over to danielle gave her a big hug and a kiss like and i was like what the f-? like this is just mad like you know yeah. what i mean and it's just it's things like that that'll stick with you bro yeah you know man, it's saying? incredible like, it's incredible yeah the way the way we told me my dad and all and yeah, man, stuff like that that's that's gonna stick with you forever, like do you know what I'm saying? And just even little things like where like we didn't get the reaction recorded from my man and dad, and we only thought to do it for her man and dad, like yeah. But I was like, do you know what? I'm kind of happy a little bit that it wasn't recorded because I like we have that to ourselves, like do you know what I mean? And it's not stored away somewhere on some fucking iCloud. It's in it's in my head and my heart type of thing, like do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, man, I'm happy. I'm delighted. I'm delighted. And like that that story you just told there is fucking unbelievable. My granddad was the same with me dad, man. When I came along, he said I rang your granddad and said Michelle's gone into labour. This fella showed up after a darts game, but a half cut, yeah, into the hospital. <laughs> not a boy. <laughs> my granddad did, yeah. He came down, and told me that he was downstairs. My dad came downstairs. He was clapping his hands, dancing. Whoa! Here we go, <laughs> just, and that's the type. Like my dad, my dad tells me that story all the time. Like, and I, I love stuff like that, brother. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, that's that's a good story. It's an unbelievable story that you tell. Don't yeah, worry. man. But I've all that to look forward to. <laughs> oh, I am shit. What we like, huh? Shit. Just a couple of dads and a dad to be, huh? I know, I know. And that's another thing. Mango said to me, he was like, yo, those dad jokes are actually going to be dad jokes now, yeah? <laughs> Speaking of which, have you any? I do, brother, I do. I do. Go on. Kiss li- are those my um, jokes? I thought I was drinking you know Coca-Cola. Are those my jokes? I couldn't joke me way out of a plastic bag. <laughs> Hold on, let me see here, right? Dad jokes. Right. I have one, I have one, I have one, I have one. Relax, relax, will you, Rocky? Rushing me, like. Is your recorder still recording? Yeah. 
Oui. Sweet. I was paranoid it'd go off like mine. I'm Belgian like a motherfucker. Did you just go off? No, no, no. I was just paranoid. You know the way sometimes mine knocks off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I went for a job interview uh, in Ikea today. Jesus, go on. The, man the manager says to me, come in, make a seat. <laughs> This one is so bad, right? This one is so bad that I could not tell it. You're ready for this? Because it's such a, like, you know when, you know when, like, an award show happens and it's like, I won the award for the third best Irish act to come from Dublin 15. You know what I mean? Just a list of shit. Participation awards. Yeah, this is one of them, like, prolonged dad jokes, right? Just outrage. This would never happen in real life. Like, you ready? Go on. (laughs) I've just deleted all the German names off me pre-owned iPhone. It's hands-free now. <laughs> Bro, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> it's hands-free. A good in tag. Bro, that's not bad. Right, there's, there's one more, yeah, one more. One more. <laughs> the no hands club. No hands club, yeah. Uh, Look, see, man, no see, hands. Right. Um, right, I have one. Do you think uh, you think you think going swimming with the dolphins is expensive? Try try swimming with the sharks. It cost me an arm and a leg. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, <for> fuck's sake. <laughs> I have one small one, right? One last small one. Yeah. Uh, and you can choose to cut this out if you want or whatever, yeah. But because it's a bit like whatever. But I just like saying it. <laughs> <laughs> so what what do you what do you call sweaty boobies? Go on. Humidity. <laughs> Oh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Humid of titties. Oh. <laughs> Big swig of titties. Oh, you bleed mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh Lord have mercy. Humidity <laughs> titties. They'll stop that. <laughs> Big spigot <spanking> boobies. <laughs> uh, I just like saying that word, bro. Humidity titties. I'm Morrow C. I'm Flint Johnson. And this being Gobsmagged. Gobsmagged. We've had a we've had a nice a nice meaningful deep chat, bro. Yeah, we've smacked our gob. Uh, We've smacked your gut. It's what it says on the tin. Oh my God. Would you believe it? Smart am I. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be able to smack a gob. Never mind, you gob smacked. Who's gob? Who's gob and you smack? You won't smack anyone's gob. You'd have to get the gob on its own. <laughs> it's what Maro says. <laughs> and smack the leg off you. Oh. You'd have to get the leg on its own. <laughs> have to get the leg on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before we go real quick, I seen one, right? Um, I seen that uh, there was like this this video where it was like the best Irish sayings of all time, bro. There's so many hidden gems. In oh, it. we'll so have to do funny. a podcast like, on that. I'm <laughs> I'm more shook than a priest's hand. Or a hand that mass or something like that it was fucking oh, gas, bro. Fucking hell. To God. I'm more shocked like, than a priest's hand. <laughs> this is another one, right? Where it's like, this is the last one I'll say, and it's like, uh, it's like he's so tight. If he cut himself, oh, he tells him about the fucking up all the way. He's he's so tight that if he found a plaster, he cut himself. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh we'll I fucking do, love some. We'll have to do a pod episode on that. You have to get someone like Mango or something on it because he, that fella, knows yeah. all them he does. Yeah, he'd have to, all the Dubliners in there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, Mango, if you're listening, let's set that up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, anyway, on that lovely note, uh, I'm Flynn Jansen. I'm R O C. R O C. That's him, and we've been fucking together. We're Jedward. <laughs> <laughs> Together we're gobsmacked. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the the the, the feedback, guys. Yeah. And yeah, send Evan some congratulations on his new baby arrival. Thank <laughs> you soon. He's still hmm. up to coming. Do that. <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon, like the album for the last seven years. <laughs> coming soon, an album and a baby. Oh, baby. Oh, don't drop that jam. Shit. Right, I gotta go because. Uh, my wife's pregnant, and I have yeah, to look after her. and I've got two kids, so i got to go. Although they're asleep now. <laughs> Barley's asleep. He was knackered. Barley? He was overtired, so he was a little shy. And then Dory's asleep, I think. Uh-huh. I think Danny said she was asleep. By the so. way, before we do finish it, one more last note, yeah? Two of the coolest names I ever did hear in my life. Ever in my Dory life. Dory and Barley. Barley and Dory. Them. Their full Both names them. are as followed. Dory Finn O'Connor. Oh. And Barley J O'Connor. That's oh. their names. Two little rock Barley stars. Barley J? Yeah, Barley this J. BJ who? Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> BJ. BJ. The J's. Barley J. Barley J and Dory Finn. If I, ever heard one. I mean, that's like two rock star names right there. Come to the stage, yeah, Dory Finn and Barley J. Oh my God. DJ Barley J. <laughs> DJ Barley J. <laughs> Barley J. In the world <laughs> Yeah bro That's been us this week I love you all Yeah Cause look um, This is This is a pure Long winded outro man We just gotta Let's just end it here Like look right. <laughs> Good luck Cut <laughs> <laughs>